capsule endoscopy is a little capsule with a camera on the tip that travel throughout the gut and take up to six images per second. So capsule endoscopy is used mostly for investigating the small bowel or the large bowel. So capsule endoscopy uh, is used to investigate the small bowel or suspected small bowel disease, including uh, Crohn's disease, uh, polyps in the small bowel, suspected adenocarcinoma or lymphoma of the small bowel, or the main indication for the small bowel is uh, obscure gastrointestinal GI bleeding. Uh, the, for the colon, capsule endoscopy is used mostly as an alternative uh, to colonoscopy. For, so for those patients that uh, wish to avoid an invasive endoscopy procedure to investigate the, the colon, meaning a colonoscopy, we use capsule endoscopy. Uh, of course, capsule endoscopy being a small capsule, it's a minimal invasive. So the patient can avoid an invasive procedure. And what happens is the patient comes to the hospital after a bowel preparation. It swallow the pill, the capsule with the camera. The capsule travels throughout the, the gut. It will take approximately 12 hours. And uh, he has a little recorder with him, which the capsule transmit the images to the recorder. And the day after the procedure, which is the following day, the patient bring the recorder to our hospital. We download the images on a computer and with a special software, we create a video, which I will uh, review. So after a few hours being in the hospital, after the capsule ingestion, patients are free to go home or do they normal, um, you know, daily routine, and there is no need for any sedation. So they can come also on their own, they don't need an escort. Capsule endoscopy is a very safe procedure. The main risks are two. One is capsule retention. So if there is any stricture, meaning a narrowing of the gut, the capsule can get stuck. In order to avoid this uh, risk, we usually gave a patency capsule, which is a fake capsule, which if it gets stuck, disintegrate after three days. And so it alerts us if there is any retention. The other risk is called aspiration, meaning that when you swallow the capsule, the capsule might um, go into the airways and the risk of aspiration as for the risk of uh, retention is around 1%, so it's very low. And the risk of aspiration is mainly present in elderly patients or in patients with swallowing difficulty. So in a fit person with no swallowing problems, it's very unlikely that the capsule will be aspirated. After the procedure, once I review the capsule and it usually happens the day after or two days afterwards, when the video is ready, I will uh, organize a follow-up consultation with yourself, with the patient, to uh, discuss the result of the capsule. Sometimes the capsule might highlight some abnormalities, either in the small bowel or in the colon, which may require, respectively, uh, enteroscopy or a colonoscopy. 